that. Beautiful uh, metal work. A buffalo hiding in the grass. At least I have, do have no fear because it's asleep. How much do you know about African artists? Really African artists who are making an impact. Today, I want to talk about upcoming, amazing, phenomenal artists. Where am I? I'm at Karen Village. Karen Village is 41,000 square feet. Actually, 82,000 if I add the buildings. It's really like a hub or a home for artists. Come and join us. Karen Village! <laughs> Wow, look at this beauty. It's called the racehorse. And this is a piece by Kyoko Witiki. This piece was purchased for $5,800. Its value right now is multi-million shillings. What am I saying here? If you are an aspiring artist, Please understand that there is a myth of the starving artist. This is just one piece of Kyoko. He's got a lot of other pieces. I bet he's sitting pretty wherever he is now. If you are an investor, you buy that piece of land, or you have real estate right now, there's nothing moving on the real estate. If you have a piece of art, and let's keep in mind, you can have in this space alone, 10 of these pieces. What is that going to make you in 10 years? 15 years. School fees are toto. Zimbe lipwa. Ladies and gentlemen, that is just the beginning. Come with me. Let's explore. So, we are about to get into Iwangari Madai. Museum. The one thing I have to tell you about uh, Karen Village is not only do they support artists, a community of artists, and make it a lively space and have a school to bring up the next generation of artists, but they also have commissioned two beautiful pieces of art. Come inside. Let's see them. This is an amazing piece by John Batia. It actually reminds me of my childhood because I remember driving up country and many times I'd see these big buses packed full of people, especially at Christmas time. And you know this bus is heading all the way up country. You can see people inside the bus excited, they are chatting. Here is the driver greeting people, hooting as he goes along. If you see at the top of the bus, you know people are taking the goods to up country. There's the mbuzi here, there is buckets, there is wheelbarrows. Uh, not the wheelbarrows for one million though, but the other wheelbarrows of back in the day of the 1970s and 80s and 90s. The double trouble, matatu. And here, another piece about the story of a world hero, I would say, Angari Mathai. I see world leaders, Michelle Obama, President Netanyahu, even the former Libyan President Muammar Gaddafi, almost a hundred leaders and presidents from all over the world celebrating Angari Mathai. I look in the back, I see a truck full of logged, trees very contradicting to what she was about i see her fighting for the release of the prisoners 
the police beating her and other women. After being awarded her Nobel Prize, we lost her. This artwork was done by John Batiers. I, when I look at this picture, it's, it's, it's evoking so much in my, in my heart and my soul. It's difficult to express it all. And I applaud him for putting this together. What's sad about this is that John Batias is really John Batia, but he couldn't actually use his name Batia because the world wouldn't buy or trust or appreciate the beauty of this picture by an African man. So the picture was appreciated with the name Batias, but not to the name Batia. Sometimes I wonder today, is that still the case? Does your name matter? Does the color of your skin matter? Does your faith matter? Does your gender matter? As artists, are you going to make the world a better place when none of that matters? In case you didn't know, we have two million visitors coming to Kenya. And usually they come to Kenya to see the animals. But hardly people get to really understand what is the culture of people in Kenya. Um, what's our heritage? What's our story? This is why Karen Village exists. Because there's people from all different parts of Kenya who are coming to express themselves, their story, their soul, their minds, their hearts, that they're pouring into their art for you to enjoy and to understand who they are and to share that with the rest of the world.